Uh, well, let's take a look at the case for um, super and um, usual sort of assumptions apply as before. Only this time we're looking at uh, a list of something which is super high, and uh, that's what I've highlighted down here. And um, if you remember, um, that means that it will um, accept uh, it. Um, it will accept a, a list of anything which is high or a super type of high. Now, um, if you uh, think about it, uh, therefore, as you go further down in the tree, you get a, a bigger and bigger set of applicable types. And so, this, will, um, so uh, further down, if we take a list of super low, for instance, that will be a super type of list of super high. It's the uh, normal contravariant type behaviour. And if you go right down to the bottom, to the null type, then list of uh, something which is super null type will be uh, will be everything which is um, uh, basically the same thing as list of something that extends object. Those two are basically the same one as as usually is written like that. And uh, finally, uh, because we got list, of course, we could uh, uh, look at a super type of list which is a collection and uh, collection of something is a uh, super type to choose there. Now if we go, if we're going down in the list, um, you can see that uh, this uh, uh, super type, uh, this uh, this type here, um, list of something which is super high, contains list of high by itself. So that would obviously be a, a subtype of it, just as just isolating out a single element as opposed to a whole set of elements. And um, because it's list of high, of course, up here we can uh, replace it with h of anything at all, and so we've got effectively an infinite, an infinite collection of uh, possible sets we can put in there. Okay, now um, the other way to go, of course, is um, uh, normal sort of subtyping rules with g, and so where you've got list of something, you could have g of the same thing, and. Uh, and remember, so it's only the inner wildcard bit which is the contravariant bit, the rest is uh, normal subtyping. So we've got the same thing duplicated down here with the same sort of relationship between them. And um, here, of course, uh, G, don't forget, could be vector or array list or link list or any subtype of list. Uh, similarly, we could go up as any of these points really here we could uh, uh, have a collection of uh, something which is super high or a collection of something which is super low and the same sort of relationship applies there and uh, similarly to, to that one so it's all pretty sort of standard stuff if you think about it there's other things I could put in here as well of course um, you know obviously there's a, a collection of high as well would, would also go in here and be a sub type of that Anyway, I don't want to clutter the diagram up too much. Um, and next, we'll look at it. Um, I think we'll look at it a bit more algebraically rather than diagrammatically, because then it will lead us to consider uh, types which are a little bit more complex.